After many months of stalling, I finally managed to beat Gigando's Mount Aku with the help of White Knight Cyclops. Uh, if you're struggling on the stage and you do have Cyclops, you're in luck because that means you can copy my lineup and beat the stage with relative ease. It did take me a couple tries. Uh, in this first form, White Knight Cyclops has a 50% chance to break Aku's shields, which is an amazing ability that for some reason his evolved form does not have. So along with White Knight Cyclops, Aku Researcher is my only other shield breaker in this stage, and while I do have others unlocked like Talented Lil Macho and Talented Lil Jamira, I only recommend bringing these two as your shield breakers because their enemies have Fallen Bayers, which have 340 range and also very heavy shields, along with of course the main attraction being Gigando, who has 300 range with 450 Omni Strike being that most other shield breakers you have just get outranged by his base 300 range, uh, not to mention his Omni Strike, which will hit every shield breaker in the game so far, so you're just gonna have to deal with the Omni Strike for now. Throughout the stage, there are infinite Cerberus kits that spawn, along with infinite Condemned Pangs that spawn around every minute to a minute and a half, but the biggest threat by far is the three fallen bears that spawn the stage. The first one spawns at the 17 second mark, and the next two spawn with a 90 second delay each. They are incredibly deadly, their shield has 500,000 health, so you're gonna need shield breakers, there's no way you can just do it with damage. And that does raise the problem of this being a bit RNG, because you need Aku Researcher and Cyclops to proc the shield break, but that is why I did bring Cyclops, because if I get too unlucky with Aku Researcher, Cyclops' 50% shield break chance is much higher than Aku Researcher's 15%, so he can come out and smash a shield if he has to. Uh, another amazing addition to the team is Bahamut, as you can see from the stats, uh, Fallen Bear only has 150,000 base HP if you get rid of the shield. So Bahamut can take away over half of his health in just one hit. Bahamut's a big noob for Fallen Bear that will easily take most of his HP away. So I can remember bringing Bahamut to kill Fallen Bears. Never use the Bahamut on Condemned Pangs, it's not worth it. You really need to hit Fallen Bear where it hurts when his shield is down. And if Bahamut's on cooldown, then you can always deploy Bullet Train Cat, who is a great fast rusher who serves as a large chunk of damage in one hit, similar to Bahamut, just a smaller version. Uh, if you didn't notice, a lot of the stage is managing your unit's cooldown. So if you see a Fallen Bear and you break a shield with Aku Researcher, you're going to want to try to kill him with Bahamut. Uh, if you are having trouble breaking the shield and two Fallen Bears start stacking and attacking you, you might want to deploy Cyclops then. And if all else fails, you'll need to deploy Maglev or restart the stage if you've got terrible RNG on the shield breaks. And after all three fallen bears are finally dead, I would say the stage is really easy. You just have to make sure Jakandra doesn't destroy your base. Uh, the, that's not that hard though. Uh, that's why I brought Rock Cat. So after Jagando attacks, sometimes I'll create a surge that kills everything. Uh, if it does, you'll want to deploy a Rock Cat so Jagando can't get any ground on you. And if you kill all three Fallen Bears and he still manages to break your base, that's just really sad. Uh, that will never really happen unless you're too negligent. So after, again, just kill the three Fallen Bears and you basically won the stage as long as you're careful and you don't let the Condemned Pangs and Jigando destroy your base. You'll just need to keep deploying your units wisely. Uh, break Jigando's shield and after that it should be a piece of cake because then he'll be affected by the Cat Cannon and all the other sort of junk you bring with you. And with a final smack from Bahamut, Jigando is dead. From here on out, you're just going to be pummeling the enemy at Ku base. Do keep in mind it does have 2 million HP, and while it is being hit, it spawns a crap ton of different enemies. Uh, it spawns a fourth Fallen Bear, it spawns a couple of Aku Pangs and a bunch of Cerberus kids, but this really is no trouble with Jigando dead, and the fact that you're all the way at the enemy base. Just do be aware that they do spawn. 
uh, it's not really a problem. You've won at this point. So, yeah, that's about it. Hope this video helped. I mean, it really only helped if you have Cyclops, but... If you do have Cyclops, I hope it helped, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya. Yeah. <laughs>